And this weekend in Covington, you can check out some antiques and uniques at the annual festival. This morning, we're getting some tips and we've got auctioneers Penny Carr and we've got um, Angie Schubert here to talk to us about some of these gems that you've brought with you in studio. Thanks yes. for joining us. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks Tell us about us. some of these treasures that you might ha people might have at home and you're going to be auctioning off this weekend. Okay, we have an auction on Saturday at the festival. It begins at 12 noon and we brought some items. We have this wonderful porcelain snowy owl. It's a, from the Franklin Mint collection. We have some yadros, two figures. We have a, a vase that's from, uh, it's European. And then we have some really awesome, awesome jewelry. And everybody loves jewelry too. Everybody loves jewelry. Let me back up to the yadro, those, those, uh, those uh, little statues and stuff. I was asking about this earlier because mm -hmm. I've collected a few in the past and I said, what do you think that would go for in an auction? And you told me. 50, $50, maybe 100, maybe. Which is extraordinary because yeah. if you buy them, at, you know, at the store, you mm -hmm. can pay 500 600 dollars you could does that is that what the case is all the time usually with the um the auctions you save a good amount of money when you, you can or it just depends sometimes things sell above what they're worth it just depends you know everybody maybe your grandmother had yadros so you really love them so you're willing to pay a little bit more right. for Angie, them tell us a little bit about the jewelry the jewelry we really do get some interesting pieces we can get uh some Victorian pieces, vintage. It can be anywhere from 10 carat to 18. We have a beautiful just nugget in here. 18 right over carat here. gold. That's 18 carat gold. We have uh, a little bit of a vintage uh, turquoise with sterling, a man's ring, diamonds. I think that's 14 carat gold. And you know, we just get really unique pieces, <laughs> some that you haven't seen in a long time. How, able, how are you able to distinguish between? you know, something that's worth a whole lot and something that's just really... <laughs> we work with some really anything. good jewelers. Uh, mm -hmm. Getting to praise, so we're gonna make sure that what we put down as for information is true. And so. Penny, I know you do appraising on the yes, side too, or as, I do. as part of your living. For those who want to bring their own personal treasures, mm -hmm. you're going to give them an opportunity yes. to give them an idea of what it's worth. On Sunday, we have an appraisal fair, and that is from 2 to 5. And we have some really awesome appraisers. We have Sherry Kohler, who will appraise everything. She's fantastic, including artwork and jewelry. We have Ann Dale from Ann Dale Jewelers, and she will do jewelry also. She's an amazing uh, appraiser. We have Cynthia Arginot from Punchatula, and she's a doll. She sells dolls, restores them, and appraises them. Mm. And we have Rick Zoll from Ponchatoula also, and he has a, he restores furniture, and his wife has Mary's Antiques. And I will also be appraising. Can you bring in all sorts of things? Are you limited Pretty to much. one? Does no. it, do you, is there a charge? How does that work? There is a charge, and all the money goes to the Covington Heritage Foundation. You bring three items for ten dollars. Oh, so that's a real one, bargain. It is a bargain. That's a for bargain. Your really yes. Is. And we were saying earlier, if you for whatever reason can't make it to the auction, you mm -hmm. can bid online. You can. And you can go, first of all, you can go to my website at auction, which is auctionnola.com, and then they have a link to live auctioneers, and you can bid on live auctioneers long uh, uh, before the auction begins, or you can bid a bid while the auction is going on. When you've been appraising, you ever, have you ever seen something that you just knew was worth a fortune? Yes, and it's really exciting when that happens. Because, but some people think things are worth a lot of money, and they aren't, and then they bring something in, and they say, oh, I just found this in a drawer, and it's worth a lot of money. So it's fun. Thank you both for joining us this Thank morning, you. and Thank we you wish you the best us. of luck this Thank weekend. You. The annual Covington Antiques and Uniques Festival is this Saturday and Sunday in downtown Covington. You can buy unique treasures and and get your antiques appraised. For more information about the festival, call 985-867-1202.